What is going on you guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm excited to install a front mount intercooler on the 335. So today I'm going to be installing this 5 inch stepped CSF intercooler. This is the perfect option for stock turbo cars. That's why I'm going with this one for my daily driver. I can tell that the quality is just top notch given that it's CSF and it's not just your no name eBay part. Um, so I'm excited to get this installed and I will show you guys how it's done. Now before I install the new CSF intercooler, I want to show you how it compares to the stock intercooler. The stock intercooler has a core that is about 4 inches thick and 5 inches tall, which is barely enough to keep intake air temps in check on a completely stock N54 or N55. As you start to modify your 135 or 335 with bolt-ons and a tune, the OEM intercooler won't keep the air temps cool enough, which restricts a good chunk of power. This CSF intercooler is obviously much bigger. It's three inches taller and has a core that is five and a half inches thick, which is an extra inch and a half thicker than the OEM intercooler. Now, since I've used and installed a variety of front mount intercoolers on this platform, I want to explain what might be best for your build because this CSF unit might not be what you need. There are a few different tiers of intercoolers when it comes to size and performance, and if you go too big or too small, you might not see the performance gains you're looking for. The CSF intercooler I'm installing today is similar to other stepped 5 inch intercoolers on the market. These are perfect if you only want to make about 400 horsepower with the stock turbos, which is why I went this route for my 335. It's a fairly mild build and I plan to keep it this way as my daily driver. The CSF option is great because of the OE style C-clip connections and it comes in at 500 bucks. There are cheaper stepped 5 inch intercoolers available from R Motorsports and VRSF for just under 400 bucks, but they don't have quite as nice of a fit or finish, but they're still good budget friendly options. Now there are non-stepped 5 inch intercoolers available from Mishimoto, ETS, and Berger Motorsports, but these won't be as much of an upgrade because they're non-stepped, so I wouldn't recommend them unless you're completely against trimming behind your bumper. The stepped options do require a bit of trimming as you're about to see when I install this CSF intercooler. Now if I were trying to max out the stock turbos or I had a stage 1 turbo upgrade, I would get something slightly larger like a 7 inch intercooler which should be good for about 5 or 600 horsepower. There aren't many 7 inch options on the market anymore because most people just opt for the step 7.5 inch race intercooler. But R Motorsports, ETS, and Evolution Raceworks still offer a 7 inch intercooler at the time of this video. Now I know some of you might just be here to watch me install the CSF intercooler but I'm almost done talking. If you plan on chasing more than 600 horsepower, you might have an upgraded set of stage 2 or stage 3 turbos or even a single turbo like my 135, you'll want an even bigger intercooler. This is where the step 7.5 inch intercooler comes to play. These are big boy units, they're huge and heavy. You're going to have to get your hacksaw ready if you want to go this route because they require a lot of trimming. But it's worth it if you're chasing that high horsepower because you get so much more surface area and volume. I have the stepped 7.5 inch VRSF intercooler on my 750 horsepower 135 and I saw intake air temps stay 40 degrees cooler after a 3rd and 4th year pull compared to just the 7 inch option. Again, you can find something like this from Arm Motorsports, Burger Motorsports, or VRSF for about 500 bucks, or you could ball out on a Wagner tuning unit for about $1,200. But remember, a seven and a half inch intercooler is not what you want for a stock turbo or even just a mild build. Now I'm gonna link all these various intercooler options down in the description of this video, so be sure to check that out. And at some point, I'll probably make a dedicated intercooler video that includes a ton of nitty gritty info. So be sure to subscribe if you like BMW content. Now that's enough talking. Let's finish this up and I'll show you guys how to install the CSF intercooler. With the under tray removed, we'll have access to the stock intercooler. 
Each side is held in by a T25 Torx bit, so we'll have to loosen both of those. If you have an automatic transmission, there's another T25 bolt holding a auto trans cooler onto the fan, and then on each side, there's a C-clip uh, holding the charge pipes on at the connection. So I'm gonna use a little pick tool to remove those charge pipe connection C-clips first, and then we'll go ahead and disconnect and unmount the intercooler. We'll probably also have to twist these two connections here uh, to, to remove this black plastic shroud. When that came down, so did 10 years worth of leaves and bugs. And you can see up in here now is your perfect opportunity to uh, clean out some of this mess before we put the new intercooler in. Now, like I said, you will have to trim for this CSF intercooler, probably along with all other five and a half inch stepped intercoolers as well. I just snuck my Dremel in there and trimmed about two inches of that front plastic shroud and then ripped it out. If you have different tools to accomplish the same thing, that'd be just fine. But once you've made that clearance, you can go ahead and insert the intercooler. I use a transmission jack because I used a lift. Otherwise, a second set of hands always helps here. And then after that, it's literally as simple as bolting it on on both sides, making sure both clamps and couplers are connected. I've got the radiator fan tucked into those mounting points. And then I ultimately finished up by securing the automatic transmission cooler with that Torx bit. And here is the finished product. It turned out beautiful. And just like that, the intercooler is installed. I hope this helps all you guys who are trying to maximize the power out of your BMWs. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Also, head over to BimmerStreet.com, cop yourself a t-shirt, a hoodie, some key tags. Got all sorts of stuff over there for my own merchandise. I'd appreciate you guys if you support me on that one. But until the next video, I will see you guys later. Peace.